Hello everybody. I wanted to do a video showing the current development state of my Strife RTX remastering project. Uh, it's gone through a whole lot of revisions and I've deleted things and started over multiple times since uh, the last big video that I've uh, posted of this. And, um, yeah. So, what have I mainly been doing? A whole lot of nothing, really. Um, uh, mainly due to performance considerations, I, I've just been kind of discouraged by working on this. Because this is my, my visual <laughs> vision for this game is it's pretty intense. It requires hardware that doesn't quite, it doesn't quite exist yet. Um, and I'm not all that versed on the optimization for what I'm doing. Uh, honestly, I don't think that many people are. This is kind of uncharted territory. And uh, it's even harder when you don't really ask people and you just complain on Twitter and nobody actually replies to your tweets with anything meaningfully helpful. Um, you could kind of see right here. I mean... I, I don't have everything textured. Um, I, I don't have everything fully lit yet. Um, because I'd like to put um, area lights on top of every uh, object that is also emissive. Uh, which is pretty performance heavy. I, I also, I mean, like by uh, my minimum standards, brute force, global illumination, two bounces with this set of custom settings right here. With this new NVIDIA denoiser, all this other stuff. I mean, th this is like the minimum that I want. Um, and it looks fine in this viewport. Now it doesn't. This is 100% this is unacceptable. I don't even know if NVIDIA broadcast is getting all funky because it's being used so hard. My GPU is being used so hard right now. But, I mean, yeah. So, let me let me just see something here. Um, it's easier if I make it not immersive so it's quicker. Let's try a command real quick. Uh, reflection screen percentage, 50. I don't think that'll change anything. Yeah, it didn't really change much at all. Like, I, I could do anything that I want to this, and it wouldn't make it better. And it's not even completely complete yet. I mean, you know, like I said, I'm still working on the materials, which, it, it, that's actually a fun process. I like doing uh, the material work. I like doing the lighting work. I dislike how just motivation sapping it is for me to put this in full screen or compile it as an exe and test it and then see that it's completely unplayable. Um, yeah, let's check out another level here. I got map 02. I think I just quickly threw this one together. Kind of quickly. Oh, we gotta wait for shaders to compile. Let's see, what about map 03? Is that, is that ready? Map 03 is kind of... What was the one I was just messing with? Now we have this map right here. Um, I don't have global illumination on right now. This is map 04. Look at this room. Oh, man. I, I kind of went overboard on this. Uh, I have to turn on DLSS, so this is happy. Let's put on performance DLSS. I kind of went overboard. I, I mean, I, I don't need these lights. You don't need every single individual bit of the emissive material lit. But 
I'm me. I'm built different. Um, basically, what adding the real lights to the scene ends up doing is here. Let's just let's turn off all these lights. Yeah, you, you, there's a lot of lights. Um, yeah, let me also. Yeah, I don't need to mess with him. He. That light was just for uh, me testing where the water was in this one. I, I'm working on the water material. Okay, so we have all the actual real lights off, right? There's no real lights at all in this whole entire map. Just emissives. So let's turn on Global Illumination Brute Force like I like. Boom, we have a lit map. Amazing, awesome, I love this. And not only is it lit, but there is indirect shadow bounces and all this beautiful, awesome stuff that I just adore in real-time ray tracing. Problem is, this is metal. It's it, the, <laughs> the, the global illumination from the ray tracing is not visible in the ray traced reflections. They are their own thing um they don't exist possibly they don't exist outside the viewport i i don't i don't know what that's about um you could remedy this by adding a um like a sphere reflection capture that kind of does what you want kind of i think you could go a uh, reflection capture Ray tracing reflection captures one. And it kind of fixes the issue. I mean, I didn't tweak it, but it'll give something for this to, you know, have. But I mean, obviously, okay, someone goes and plays your game and doesn't have RTX hardware or, you know, um, DXR hardware, and they get this. Which is why I light everything. Um, yeah, I could have a sub level that holds all the lights. There's a whole lot of things I could do. And there's a whole lot of optimization techniques I can't do because they don't really work with this. <laughs> it's, it's extremely complicated and it's extremely experimental, all of this. Um, what's another cool little thing? Yeah, like this hallway. I, I love this hallway going on here. Let's turn on all the lights again. Um, I mean, yeah, for uh, optimization. Okay, let, let, let's. I know I'm kind of going places. I'm. Kinda, I don't have anything written down for this. Um, so what do you, what do you have here? And you could change the samples per pixel. I'm already using one for every light because the denoiser is so good that it doesn't really matter. You could change the draw distance and might help. Like, I don't know. Make it like a thousand. Let's open up stat, advanced, GPU. So we got the GI taking up the most, um, saying this back to zero. Mm, yeah. You could see the lights bump up, like watch, watch lights. Lights is at, you know, four or five, four, four, whatever. Put this up to a thousand and the lights drop off, which yeah, that makes sense. Um, you could individually tweak each light. Um, so you don't have, like you could see at the top here, lights are popping in as you get close to them. You could tweak it. So like if I'm standing here, all of these lights and all of these lights should still be in range of the player kind of thing. You could do that. That might help. Um, but considering most of my things are indoors, um,
Everything's fine. Okay. Cool beans. Yeah. Um, let's see. Turning off. It's unhappy. It's not happy with me. Hello? I don't know. Please. Okay. I'm just going to walk around while I'm talking so it doesn't do that. Um, yeah, I was informed something I already kind of suspected and I was going to mess around with, which is scale and... The fact that these are mostly internal maps, you know, inside, indoors maps, where, well, for one, the scale matters because ray distances and travel and all of that, and the fact that it's indoors, the rays never, never terminate, is terminate the right word? They're never not used because they're always going to come in contact with geometry, if that makes sense. So, let's see here. Is there like... There is there is ray distance that you could set. Like global illumination max ray distance. Which, the default is... Look, I'm not going to read that number. I don't know what that number is. It's It's a magical number. Um, maybe you could go like 4096. What's that do? 1024? What happens if you go really low? Oh, I didn't mean to. Like 512? What's that do? Like, I'm wondering if I could set in my config file uh, for this to load up that so the ray distances aren't as bad. Uh, this might be good, actually. Uh, I'll, I'll move on in a second here. This is interesting. Okay, we're getting 26 milliseconds before. Um, yeah, and that's that's still that. So what if I... Boop, boop. What if I put it back to the original? Okay, let, let's let the millisecond count. Average is 26 for brute force. Put it back. And it does go up. If I put it on 512. One twenty eight helped, and I mean honestly, it doesn't look much worse for wear. But yeah, I mean, okay, let let's let's move on. I got a couple more maps. Oh no, we're gonna we're gonna turn off stats so it's not doing whatever it's doing, it's like loads and unloads all that. Ooh, okay. What's this map? This is the prison. But yeah, I mean, basically, as far as I'm concerned, I'm, quote, finished with this when I have finished all of the materials and I have the base parts of these maps working. And, I mean, I'm not there yet. Not all the materials are done. And I really don't care about getting the logic done. I mean, I do care. It's just, there's a lot of it. There's, there's a lot of it. I think I talked about this in a previous video where let's do map two. I forget how to move. Okay. Yeah, it is arrow keys. Cool. Yeah, I mean, if you if you don't know anything about Doom maps, 
since this is strife, there are basically like trigger sections of the map that, you know, you, you hit use on them, you touch them, or you walk over them, and then other parts of the map change. The easiest example of this is, what mode am I in? I want to be in line def mode. This right here. So this, <laughs> for a certain, um, a certain uh, mission that the mayor gives you, mayor is over here. Um, he's going to ask you to go down here, talk to this homeless guy, and this panel opens up, and then you have a switch right here. You open up this switch, or you use that switch, and then all of this sewer water lowers, revealing this passageway. And that, I would, so basically what I have to do is, uh, how do I go in, is it tab? I don't want to hit the button to go into the 3D view, I forget how to do it. But basically, um, I already have the map exported like just normal, like this. And I have to go through every single map and find these things and then export separate versions. Like for, for water, I have to lower this and then put the material for the walls that, that have now been exposed and make the lower section like sand or metal or concrete or something. So there's a bottom because as it is right now, like, like with that, let's go to that map. I'll just go on lit. Because as of right now, that's just like, wait, where, where, where am I? It's over here. That's just the height of the water. That's just like the height of the mesh. And you can see down here, this is how low I need need that to go. So I have to, yeah, make a whole bunch of different versions for all of these things. Even like simple things like elevators and the doors. I have to go through and find all of these and basically just recreate the functionality from Doom. Uh... And the reason I'm talking about that is because I am perfectly happy with just having all of these maps the way they are. Um, you know, initially, like I said, fully textured, fully lit, fully ray traced, but not functional yet. I'll be completely happy with that because at that point I could, I don't know, I don't want to say hire someone because I don't have money to hire someone, but because I'm not getting paid for this. Uh, I mean, if it comes down to it, I will have to do it. I, I will do it. It'll take a while. But yeah, I mean, like it would be nice to have someone else work on that aspect of it. But yeah, I mean, as it stands, I have to do the performance profiling, the research, the texture work, the everything and this this gonna take a while and it's not going to be playable uh for quite a bit but yeah i mean this is the current state of things basically i just um am slowly going through every map and any texture that doesn't exist i just Go and I make it. I just make them. Do I have wall tech going on? Oh, I do. I already finished that one. Yep. And I just put it there. In the lit mode. And voila. Um, and then I go through and I manually do that for every material object in every map. Uh, until they're all done. Um, 
I I had fancy aspirations for <sighs> basically voxelizing all of the sprites in Magic of Voxel, exporting each frame to their own object, and then coming up a coming up with a way to load each frame as a separate object, you know, basically, yeah, just so I could have 3D versions of all the sprites. I don't know if I'll still do that. That sounds insane. But I've seen people doing that with blood, which is really cool. Uh, I, I would like to do that. I, I think this video has gone on long enough. I'm not really going to edit this or shorten it. As long as the audio is good, this is what you're going to be watching. And uh, yeah, I love you all. Take care of yourselves and bye.